Well, what's up guys and welcome to another episode. Uh, in this episode we're going to go ahead and show you how to set up your elementary OS as far as uh, adding new icons and themes. Now it can be kind of easy for a lot of the themes, a lot of the main themes out there like Numix, uh, but as you can see Numix will be right here, uh, like that one right there, and those, those can all be easily installed via terminal command, but as you see over here on uh, the uh, Deviant Art that there is a little section if you just come up to the search bar and type in elementary OS you should be pulled up with a similar screen to this and from here you're going to be able to find uh, icons wallpapers all sorts of different types of things but the problem is how do we get some of these icons set up so now let me go find a quick pack here that I would like to install myself uh, we'll do Let's see, do we have anything else on here? Show more? There should be a ton of stuff on here. I might have to go find it a different way. Yeah, let's go ahead and type this in right here. Um, see if I can find it this way. All right, there we go. So I'll put a link for this in the description just to make it a little easier to get to. And this looks a lot better. So here's the featured items that are going to be on here. Um, now we want to come in here. I'm going to go ahead and look at the gallery. And you're going to see there's a lot of different options. Change them. So the icons are going to be down here. Go ahead and go into the icons area. Yeah, this isn't where I want to be either. Where are you at? Here we are. Finally. Okay, so sorry about that. Again, I will have this link in the description. This is the one I've been looking for. So what I want to come in here is you're going to see the gallery photos down here. I'm going to come into this icon section. And you're going to see a list of different icons to choose from. Um, these are all the ones you can actually go ahead and get. Uh, so we have Micro, Pacifica, Numix, Test, whatever you want to call them. So the difference is a lot of these. So if I go into these Numix circle, you will see that there is commands, terminal commands to install. So it's pretty easy. You just copy and paste, press enter after each one inside of your terminal. But if I come into something like this, I don't have any terminal commands, do I? So to get these downloaded is you, you download the zip. So here's the zip being downloaded. You will then need to let's go ahead and minimize this, minimize this. And I will exit out of this because I don't need it right now. Uh, you can either open up your terminal or you can right click down here and open a new window as administrator. But I'm going to go ahead and do it the little bit different way. I have Nautilus installed, sudo Nautilus. Uh, if you do not have Nautilus installed, you just type in sudo apt to get Nautilus, and it will have that installed. I'll put that in the description as well. So once you come up with your, your main folder, we're going to go down to computer. We are then going to go to user, USR. We're then going to go to share, and scroll down until we see icon. HI, icons, right there. And here's all my icons going to be. So as you can see, I have some of my icons to choose from. Um, if I want to now see them, since I've already installed some of them, like the Pacifica, since I've already go ahead and dragged and drop it, you will need to have a root folder opened up in order to extract files into it. So if you want, you can open up like Nautilus on one window, you can open up this file on another window, and I'll throw it over here, and here's my downloads that I already have. So I will then go to, I will go here, I will go to open with Archive Manager, I'm just going to extract it right where it's at, extract quit and look at all these the individual that made this did not put them into a folder so I already have mine set up right here as you can tell but what I am going to do to make it easier for myself come in here rename this to Miro X so I know what they are Miro X and that's it so that's all you really need to do when it comes to adding icons to your elementary OS. Uh, once you've added those icons, you do need to restart your desktop so you can log out, log back in. If that doesn't work, just try restarting your entire computer. And then you will need to come down, go into your system settings, and go to tweaks. If you do not have uh, elementary tweaks installed, you can find it in the elementary section of my uh, video playlists. If uh, I will also put a link in the description to make it a little bit faster for you. And I just come in here. And uh, I have my icons in here. Since I've renamed that one icon pack, it shouldn't just pop up at all, which it's not going to. But as you can see, like my Pacifica use right there, that's what I have installed right here. That's how I have that icon right there. 
and you can tell some of my icons probably look like my Firefox, my Chrome, just a little bit different than everybody else's uh, as far as stock goes. And that's it when it comes to it. Uh, in the next video, I'll go ahead and do the same thing when it comes to getting your theme set up because we like to change all this theme. You know, there's no reason to stay stock with anything. Let's customize it, make it look our own. And that's it. Uh, again, if you guys do have any questions or comments with things, as always, leave them down below. Um, just remember to take your time. When you do open up a folder as root, be careful as not to delete anything because you are accessed it as root. So you can really mess up your computer. And that's about it. So as always, don't forget to subscribe and I will definitely see you guys next video.